today's lesson will be from chapter uh, 8. We're going to be looking at exercise 9. So um, we're looking at chapter nine, exercise eight. I'm sorry about that error before. Um, we're looking at cornerstone exercise nine, eight. And what we're going to be doing today is calculating the fixed overhead, spending and volume variances. We're going to be the Standish company and we're manufacturing consumer products and providing information for the month of February. They've given us information about this company as to how many units were actually produced, the standard direct labor hours per unit. So it's going to take two parts of an hour to produce one unit. They've given you the standard fixed overhead rate and they've given you the budgeted fixed overhead. And they've given you the actual fixed overhead cost and the actual hours that were worked. What they're asking us to do here is to calculate the fixed overhead spending variance. Notice we're talking about fixed overhead here. So we're going to start with our actual fixed overhead and we're going to subtract out our budgeted fixed overhead. The actual amount of fixed overhead was given so I just plug this in down here. We're going to compare it to the budgeted fixed overhead, uh, which was also given. This is the budgeted here, and this is the actual that went in here. If our actual fixed overhead is larger than our budgeted fixed overhead, we're going to have a fixed overhead spending variance that is unfavorable. The fixed spend, uh, overhead spending variance is uh, can be evaluated by management. Uh, usually it's a small amount that is considered here. Uh, and what we would do if we really want to look at the differences is we would set up the fixed overhead spending variance or we set up all of our fixed overhead accounts in a spreadsheet that compares the budgeted amount to the actual amount. But this kind of gives you an idea of what the fixed overhead spending variance is. For this company, it was an unfavorable amount. What you need to know as a student is how to calculate the fixed overhead spending variance. So I've highlighted in these problems what I think is important for you uh, to know as far as the formula is concerned. To find the fixed overhead spending variance, we simply compare what actually happened to what we had budgeted. Since both of these amounts were given, we subtract to find the variance amount, which is 3,300. And it's unfavorable because our actual is more than our budget. The second part of this problem has us calculating what we call a volume variance. The volume variance has to do with the amount of output that the company is expecting versus what actually happened as far as what the company actually produced. The calculations uh, for this uh, consist of two separate uh, formulas here before we actually get to the fixed overhead volume variance formula. So in other words, we need to know these calculations before we can substitute them into our fixed overhead volume variance. First of all, we need to be able to calculate the standard hours. And we've talked about this a couple of times before uh, what you're going to do is take the time it takes to produce one unit, which was given in your instructions. Two parts of an hour is how much time it takes to produce one unit. 
we're going to multiply that by the actual units produced. And this will give us our standard hours. Our standard hours is 26,200 hours. This was not given, but you need to know that so that you will be able to put it into our applied overhead, which is what we're calculating next here. So in order to calculate applied fixed overhead, we need to know what our budgeted fixed overhead rate is. And that happens to be given in this particular problem. We're going to multiply it by the standard hours that we just found from above. And that will give us the applied fixed overhead. Once we have the applied fixed overhead, then you just substitute it into the actual formula. The formula for fixed overhead volume variance is you're going to take your budgeted fixed overhead, which was 65,000 that was given, and you're going to back out your applied factory overhead. And this came from sale uh, B. 55. Actually, it's not B55, is it? It came from up above, which is B32. So let me change this right here. Sorry about that. Um, but it's this, this figure that we just figured out here is plugged in here. And then the difference between the budgeted fixed overhead and the applied amount of fixed overhead is $500. And it is favorable since our budgeted was less than our, um, since, since our actual uh, budgeted fixed overhead was less than our applied fixed overhead. Your applied fixed overhead is based on your standard hours. So it's going to be a favorable variance. In other words, this top line here is less than the second line here. And that gave you $500, which is favorable. In the what if analysis, it says what if there had been 129,600 units that had actually been produced in February? What impact would that have had on the variances? So I just copied my formula in again for my fixed overhead spending variance. Notice the fixed overhead spending variance did not change because it doesn't have anything to do with the number of units that are produced but it will affect the volume variance because the actual units produced changed. It's now 129,600. That means the standard hours will change. If the standard hours are changed, then the applied fixed overhead would also change. You're using the same formula as we used before. We've taken our budgeted fixed overhead which was the given amount. We're subtracting out our applied fixed overhead, which we just found. And so we get a fixed overhead volume variance of 200. And since, uh, since the amount of 65,000 is greater than the applied fixed overhead, the uh, amount will be unfavorable here. So I forgot to put that in, so I'm going to add it uh, now. So this is the unfavorable amount here. And uh, I've given you um, a little bit of information here that's highlighted for you as to why we are doing this. Um, and so the fixed overhead is made up of a variety of individual items. You might remember that your fixed overhead could be your salaries, your depreciation, your taxes, your insurance. These are the costs that we expect to remain constant for a period of time. 
the fixed costs are not affected by changes in production level. So it's often beyond the control of management uh, to, um, you know, for these uh, spending variances uh, because, you know, it's, it's not up to us as to what the fixed cost amounts are going to be. What you would simply do is you would set up a spreadsheet where you would compare your actual cost to your budgeted cost. The fixed overhead volume variance occurs because the out output is different from the budgeted output. If it's unfavorable, what you originally budgeted for was more than what actually happened. Uh, so the output was more than uh, what uh, actually happened. And so, um, actually, I said that backwards. The output would be less than what you actually expected. Uh, but it occurs because the output is different from the actual output is different from the budgeted output. And so that's all I want to talk to you about today is exercise 9.8. I'm going to create another video for 9.15 and 9.16. So we'll stop sharing this with you and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.